The arc cosine function, written arc cosine x or cosine to the negative 1 power of x, is the inverse of the cosine function. Like all inverse functions, the input and output switch. Here's an example. Cosine of pi over 3 equals 1 half implies that arc cosine of 1 half equals pi over 3. The table gives cosine and inverse cosine values for some first quadrant arcs. There's no more information in one column than in the other. It's simply a matter of switching the inputs and outputs to get from the cosine column to the inverse cosine column. The arc cosine x can be displayed on a unit circle. It is aptly named since arc cosine x is an arc on the unit circle that terminates at a point x units from the vertical axis. The idea can be written in a different way, namely x equals cosine t. There's no more information in one statement than in the other. It's simply a matter of switching the input and the output and changing the function name from inverse cosine to cosine. Here are two examples. Cosine of pi over 3 equals 0.5. This is what we're used to writing. We can now write it as arc cosine of 0.5 equals pi over 3. Here we have cosine 3 pi over 4 equals negative 0.707. Or we could write it arc cosine of negative 0.707 equals 3 pi over 4. The cosine function is not one to one. There are infinitely many inputs for any output in the range. For instance, cosine of pi over 3 equals 1 half, cosine of negative pi over 3 equals 1 half, and cosine of 7 pi over 3 equals 1 half. Earlier, we accepted that cosine of pi over 3 equals 1 half implies that arc cosine of 1 half equals pi over 3. However, cosine of negative pi over 3 equals 1 half does not imply that the arc cosine of 1 half equals negative pi over 3. There can be only one output for the arc cosine of 1 half, namely pi over 3. To create the inverse cosine function, the domain of cosine function needed to be restricted to create a one-to-one -one function so that there's no confusion. There are many ways to restrict the domain of the cosine function to create a one-to-one -one function. By agreement though, the restriction that is universally accepted is for x between 0 and pi. By restricting the domain, to x between 0 and pi, all of the range values are achieved exactly once, making the restricted function 1 to 1, and hence making the function invertible. Here are the graphs of the restricted cosine function and its inverse. Domain of cosine x is equal to the range of arc cosine x, 0 to pi. Range of cosine x is equal to the domain of arc cosine x, negative 1 to 1.